have you been paying attention? And now, the man with the answers, Tom Gleisner. Good evening, Australia. Thanks for joining us as we once again look back on news of the week and find out just who of us knows what happened, when, where and why. Donald Trump spoke shortly after his guilty verdict. What were his first four words? Guy. Large Big Mac combo. <laughs> <laughs> Just drove past. Uh, Sam. I smell burnt toast. <laughs> Was it a succulent Chinese meal? <laughs> I'd love it to be, Claire. Sadly, no. Anyone knows he's, it's a common thing. Guy. Live from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Try Ed, help me out. This is a disgrace. I think you might be close. Take a look. This was a disgrace. The UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has proposed bringing back what? Claire. Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's desperate. He's desperate for uh, any sort of campaign idea. Sam. Is it the McRib? <laughs> I don't know why it goes. Guy. Is it Liz Truss for the sake of comparison? It's just a, just <laughs> so he can look good. Yeah, no, it's an idea. Claire. It's national service, this, isn't it? Yes. Oh. It's... Then I'll say it with a full stop. It's okay. national service. Yeah. <laughs> Clear points are yours. Or you don't often see Joe Biden looking like this. What was the occasion? Sam. He's very old and he's just about to go to the toilet. Is <laughs> so he... not? You never know what can happen. Big, uh, big greeting at the White House. Ed. The Super Bowl winning Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> uh, came to visit him. Apparently they are the only people more concussed than him. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ed. I will give you the points. Oh, there's trouble at the Vatican. The Pope has apologised. Following reports, he used... He used what? Guys. Uh, someone else's milk from the clergy fridge. That would, <laughs> that would be overstepping the mark. Sam, what did the, what did the Holy Father do? He used the same cutting board for the meat and the vegetables. <laughs> Anyone help me out, guy? No, he used uh, one of the one of the bad words. Mm, yeah, uh, would you say a homophobic slur? I would. I would call it a very homophobic slur. <laughs> For uh, ten points extra, the slur was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. You're the host. You tell us the answer. Oh, don't <laughs> don't do that. Kitty. I think it was Gaylord. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was um, apparently it was just like to a group of bishops yep. and yeah. to someone. Is it you bunch of gay lords? <laughs> I believe we have a video quiz master standing by. G'day Tom, g'day everyone. I'm Dylan Twist from Perth. And what traditional cheese-related event did I win in the UK this week? What uh, cheese-related event did Dylan win? <laughs> Guy. Uh, is it appease the cheese? <laughs> it's sweet. You've got to talk a block of cheese into melting. <laughs> oh, no, it should be an event, guy, but it's not, Sam. Kitty, what was the event? Is it, is it rolling the cheese? Kitty, let's uh, let's see if you're right. I won this at the Cooper's Hill Cheese Rolling Competition in Gloucester. Down they come. <laughs> they, they do it every year. To another court appearance in the US. Mr. Harris, oh. are you driving? I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Why did that go viral, Claire? Oh, because it's the most magnificent video. <laughs> I mean, I know, look, technically you should keep watching this show, but I actually recommend pressing yep. pause and... And going to see honestly, that. Honestly, yeah. he was getting done for driving without a licence. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. The gentleman did not have a licence. Enjoy. This is a driving while licence suspended, and he was just driving, <laughs> and he didn't have a licence. Yes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Will Smith is back on the red carpet for Bad Boys 4. It is an absolute honour and, you know, a privilege to, you know, be the, the, the first Hollywood premiere in... The first Hollywood premiere where? Location? Sam. A big Bad Boys fan. It was in Saudi Arabia. It was indeed. Well, fallout from Kelly Rowland's appearance at the Cannes Film Festival continues. The woman knows what happened. I know what happened. And um, I stood my ground. What happened? Big story, bit of controversy, Kitty. I think but there was some shoving. She was trying to show her dress. The woman was saying, move on. She was saying, I won't move on. And then it... Bang! <laughs> Should give you a bonus points for acting out the answer, Kitty. <laughs> Absolutely. Kelly claims she was pushed by yeah. a security guard. It was a bit of a, a tussle. Lenny Sorry. Kravitz made what shock revelation this week? Guy. No, I know this one. 
because I've been trying to have sex with that man and he's celibate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for, do you know for how long he's been celibate, guys? Oh. I, I think Kitty's tried as well. Uh, <laughs> nine years. Well done. Yes, correct. Nine years. Ooh. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> this Chicago house listing has had over 600,000 views. What's special about it? Kitty. It's from the um, Home Alone movie. Correct. Well done. <laughs> now, British actor Nicholas Galitzine has just been cast to play what popular 1980s character? Kitty. Frank Poncharelli. <laughs> Where's well, Frank from, Kitty? Con Welcome back, Connor? From, from Chips. From Chips. Oh, <laughs> Chips. You're thinking of Chips, Punch and John. Ponch. Ponch. Poncharelli. What? Frank Poncharelli. <laughs> Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. What? Sorry, you know, talk amongst yourselves back row. Yes, Claire. It's He-Man, isn't it? Uh, right. Uh, He-Man, live modern, action no, movie. Modern remake. It's now called They Them. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you, Ed. All right. The Olympic torch continues its journey. Where was it this week? Kitty. Alpine cigarette commercial. It does, <laughs> it does look a little uh, Alpine. Claire. On its honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> yeah, no, it's at least, well, the Olympics are in France, so therefore it's... Uh, yeah. oh, the beaches of France, Normandy or something like that? Normandy in France, correct. I think anniversary of the D-Day landing's coming up. Ed, points are yours. Uh, to the world of boxing. Former world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson is said to be doing great after he suffered a health scare. What was the health scare? Kitty. Apparently he was vacuuming. <laughs> he fell over. We'll stop you there, Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> I know where this is going. Uh, Sam, what was the health scare? Oh, it was big. He had an ulcer. Mm. Yep. <gasps> to an historic moment in Tahiti. And into this wave. Oh, which is a oh my! Deep one for Western Web. She comes out. What did Brazil's Tatiana Western Web do here? Kitty. I know this. She went inside the green room and she nailed a gnarly barrel and she scored a perfect 10. Wow. <laughs> Can I give her Spot a Spot on, absolutely. A perfect wow. 10. Wow. Well done. Uh, Aussie skateboarder Arisa True is the first woman to do what? Sam. Did she get paid the same as a male skateboarder? Exactly. <laughs> Not the answer we've got on our cards here, Sam. Uh, Claire. It's <laughs> five times 180. It's five 180s, isn't it? It's 900. Is that right? It's 900. Wow. She did 900. Yep. She I did don't know what it means. I just... Well, it. It's five. Claire, can... let's, oh, um, let's have a look. Let's check it out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Claire points to <laughs> yours. She uh, landed a 900. I well, got a spot. Well, you did that. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Tough week for Elon Musk with Tesla having to recall over 125,000 vehicles. What's the issue? Guy. He said his voice is a sat nav and people did not like that it. Would, that would be creepy in a Tesla. Uh, what's happening, Sam? Let just point out, he's stealing my move. Yeah, oh, he's got... <laughs> you absolute Guy. Seatbelts. Yeah, seatbelt warning failure. Pay that. Jennifer Lopez told her fans she was heart sick this week. What was she referring to? Uh, Kitty. Cancelled her tour. Yeah, so you US tour. I don't know why, but... Poor ticket sales, Tom. Is that right? Well, she says to spend more time with her family. Poor ticket sales. <laughs> Thank you, I know Kitty. what that means. We do know what that means. <laughs> Qatar Airways was just named the number one airline in the world. Who came second? Sam. Korean Air. Hmm, never flown them? Oh. <laughs> Question. I, you know I'm not Korean, don't you? you know, I know we all look the same. You've had a shocker tonight, mate. Paris Hilton has surprised fans by announcing a new what? Sam. A director's cut of House of Wax. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, what's Paris announced? No, I'm a big fan. She's putting out music. Did she sing? Uh, not really, but I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you, got released uh, an album in... Stars are blind. Not a bad song. Uh, not a bad song. No, it's, it's an instrumental album. <laughs> <laughs> She's releasing an album in September. Thank you, got Interesting news out of Colombia. Lawmakers have banned what controversial sport? Guy. Bullfighting. Yes, can you believe oh. it? Very good. South Koreans were on high alert after several balloons crossed the northern border carrying what? Claire? Was it Paris Hilton's new album? Were they just a oh. copy? Yes, Sadly, it not was. Yet. Because it was excrement. Yes. <laughs> Kitty, yeah. Yes, trash and excrement. Not sure about the album, but I'll give you the points. Kitty, meet Alejandra Rodriguez. She's the first 60-year-old in Argentina to compete in what? Kitty. The octagon. It was... Uh, <laughs> not uh, clear. Squid Game. 
It's not a street gang. <laughs> Great contestant, but no, this is a... Uh, for a 60-year-old, this is an amazing guy. Miss Argentina. Yes, the Miss Universe Argentina pageant. Oh, good news for Brittany Higgins. Oh, and we're out of time. Thanks to everyone for being part of the show tonight. We'll leave you with a reminder of the need to pay attention when using props on live TV. Joe, you say not everyone had a shining moment. Oh, I did <laughs> Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Good night, Australia. See you all next week.